Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Zero Connective for the Magento 2 platform. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you the backend configuration that is required for this particular plugin. And apart from that, uh, we'll also be showing you the Zero in as well, wherein we'll be showing you how to get the Zero credentials that are the client ID and the secret ID. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you how to create an organization, uh, adding currency to the Zero account. Uh, how to bulk export Magento 2 orders to the zero account, bulk export of the uh, invoices to zero, and how we can map the invoices with the zero invoice number. And lastly, we'll also be showing you how to check the mapped customers as well. So we'll show you, we'll be showing you all of that uh, in a while. So uh, before continuing further, let me give you a small gist about the zero connective for Magento 2 platform plugin. So basically, the zero is an accounting software that helps the small and medium sized businesses to manage their data and this particular plugin that's the Magento 2 Zero Connective plugin allows the Magento 2 store owner to export orders invoices to their Zero account. The store admin uh, or the store owner can export Magento 2 order invoice at Zero with products, customers, payment and tax information. And uh, apart from that, the store owners can also set up an auto invoice generation at zero whenever an order gets placed or invoiced uh, at the Magento 2 end. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see if, uh, what the different uh, configuration settings are there uh, within, the, uh, within the module itself. And thereafter, we'll be showing you the rest of the things that we have already told you. So uh, let's go to the admin backend panel first. So here I'm at the uh, admin backend panel right now for the Magento 2 uh, platform. So I'll be entering my username and demo password. And after that, I'll be tapping on the sign in button so as to sign into my admin panel. So right now I'm at the dashboard as you can see. So after you successfully install this particular plugin on the side panel, you'll have this zero connect menu option under which we'll be having three sub menu options for the module itself. So one is the mapped customer section. The other one is the map invoice section. And the last one is the configuration for the zero connector itself. So you can reach the configuration uh, for this particular plugin from here as well by tapping the configuration button. Otherwise, you can also navigate to stores, then configuration, then under the web pool block, you need to tap on the zero connect option and that would bring up the configuration settings. So let me uh, open the configuration settings first. And thereafter, we'll be uh, talking about the uh, mapped customer and the map invoice sections as well. So here I'm at the uh, configuration page right now. So uh, under the web cool block, we have the Magento Zero Connect option. So here we have two different, uh, two, in fact, three different configurations that we need to set up. So the very first one is the zero general settings, wherein the admin can enable this particular plugin for use within the web store. Apart from that, the admin needs to enter the client ID and the client secret that can be generated from the uh, zero developer account there by, uh, so I'll also show, be showing these things as well as I've already told you. And after the admin enters his client ID and the client secret that he has received from the zero account, he can tap on the authenticate button here. That will bring up one section wherein he needs to enter his password to authenticate this particular client ID and the client secret. Also, uh, the admin needs to make sure that uh, whichever uh, currencies he's using within his Magento 2 store, those cu currencies are also created within the Zero company. So I'll be showing that as well. So for the very first option, I've already told you to enable disable, then we'll be entering the client ID and client secret. We'll authenticate our uh, account that is related to the client ID and the client secret that we have. Thereafter, we have the default configuration wherein we have three different options to configure. So the very first option that we have is the default status of invoice on zero. So here you can choose from three different options like the draft, submitted and authorized. So basically the option that is the default status of invoice on zero is that whenever an invoice is synchronized. So what should the default status of that particular invoice be? So as soon as an invoice is generated, uh, that is uh, synchronized with the zero account so it would be set up as draft initially you can also choose that as submitted or authorized as per your own requirement there then we have auto order export to zero as uh, invoice so you can choose this option as a yes or a no and if you're choosing this option as a yes then the 
auto uh, auto orders export to zero as invoice would be done so uh, if you've chosen as a yes for this particular option so uh, what it does is that uh, uh, then the orders would automatically be exported to zero as an invoice otherwise if we choose this option as a no then the admin needs to export the orders himself then we have the order export event so from here the admin can decide uh, basically uh, the event uh, when the order will automatically be exported to zero so you can choose from order place invoice create or order complete so whenever these uh, uh, whenever any of these has been selected and that particular option uh, is there then the order export event would take place automatically and the uh, data or the invoice would be synchronized with the uh, zero account itself and lastly we have the uh, uh, we have the accounts for inventory but uh, before that let me uh, uh, give you some gist about the order place invoice create and order complete so uh, uh, when uh, the event is uh, as an order place uh, then whenever an order gets placed at the store it would uh, get automatically exported to the zero with uh, the draft status because we have chosen the default status of the invoice on zero as draft so at the time of order place now uh, whenever the invoice is generated then the order would automatically be exported to zero with a paid status right and then for the order complete uh, when the both the uh, shipping and the invoices have been generated for a particular order then that order is automatically exported to zero with a paid status so uh, that was about the order export events that we have on invoice create order place and the order complete options now let's come to the accounts for the inventory so uh, here we have the options uh, for the income account and the expense account so here the admin needs to uh, select the type of income account from the drop down list and same for the expense account here the admin just needs to select the type of ex expense account from the drop down list and lastly he can tap on the save configuration button to save the changes but before that he needs to authenticate his particular zero account so after entering the client id and the client secret the admin will tap on the authenticate button and this would uh, redirect him on the uh, pop-up window as you can see here and here the admin needs to uh, enter his username and password for his zero account and tap in the login button and after tapping on the login button uh, we'll see that uh, we'll be uh, sent out for the authentication where uh, wherein the zero would be asking us for providing the access to the demo web pool account so from here what we can do is here you can see that we have Mitas zero the organization data so i'll be showing you at the zero account as well zero end as well now uh, here we need to provide allow access to this particular thing so i'll tap on allow access so as soon as i've tapped the allow access uh, our account has been successfully authorized as you can see here on the pop-up uh, and or, or on the prompt that we can see now let's tap ok this page would refresh so we'll just wait for that right now the page is going to uh, refresh itself now you can see that we have this option disconnect so to disconnect our account zero account uh, there so we have successfully logged into our zero account for which uh, we have already entered the client id and the client secret so we are done with uh, setting up all the data here now we can tap on the save configuration button to save all the configurations that we have made so we have saved our configuration and our account has been connected with our uh, Magento 2 here with the Magento 2 backend now let's go to the uh, three different sections that is uh, the map customer and the map invoice the configuration was this one that we have already explained now let's go to the map customer and the map invoice sections and let's see what different options are there uh, for the admin uh, but before that let me show you how the admin would be able to uh, bulk export the orders from the image to do web store so for that uh, what I'll do is I'll just navigate through uh, uh, what we say as uh, sales and then orders let me open that up in one other window and after I'll be sh after uh, showing you how to uh, bulk export the orders 
and the other things I'll then come back to the zero connect section for showing you the mapped customer and the map invoice sections so right now we are on the orders uh, page as you can see here and we have different uh, orders that have been already placed within the web store now from the actions drop down here we have an option of export on zero under the actions uh, drop down option so what we can do is we can choose all of the orders or we can manually select the orders that we want to say uh, that we want to what we say as bulk export uh, to the zero account and thereafter we can tap on the export on zero so we have uh, already selected on three records there on the prompt just tap the ok button so as to export these uh, three uh, orders after that the process will start for exporting the orders as you can see right now so you can see that total three orders are to be exported uh, into the zero account there and right now we are exporting the uh, data there so right now you can see that total uh, total of two invoices have been exported to zero and uh, one more uh, that we had selected basically that has uh, truncated because that has already been uh, uh, what we say has has been already synchronized uh, there on the zero account so that's where only two invoices have been exported right now so this was how we can basically uh, bulk export uh, the orders into uh, the zero account so uh, now let me go ahead and let me show you how we can bulk export the invoices so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be navigating to sales and then invoices and on the invoices page what we can do is we can choose uh, the the invoices that we the, that we want to export to the zero account and from here we can choose the export on zero we can select only one uh, invoice or the one that is required or we can also choose all of the uh, uh, invoices in bulk so as to uh, export onto zero so let's tap on the zero button then on the prompt let's tap ok the process has started so now we can see that the total number of four invoices has been exported into zero right now and the uh, process execution has completed right now so that was how we can bulk export the invoices to the zero account now uh, let me show you how we can map the invoices so for that what we'll be doing is now we'll be going to the zero connect section so as to map the invoices so here we'll navigate to the map invoice uh, menu option let me open that up in other window here and uh, here the admin can move the list of all the orders and the invoices which have already been mapped with the zero account from the back end and uh, so uh, for reading the list of the orders and invoices the admin needs to navigate to this section here and thereafter the admin can see the zero invoice number as well along with the customer email here is the zero invoice number the third column from the left and uh, here we have the Magento order ID that is being synchronized with the zero invoice number. Here we have the uh, customer email, the purchase point, export to zero when it was done. And under the actions column, we can tap on the view order button to uh, view the uh, orders uh, there. So uh, here we can see the uh, invoices that we have already mapped with uh, the zero account there. And uh, here we, the admin can mask delete uh, the invoice map records as well by tapping on to the uh, drop down option under the actions here now that was about the mapped uh, invoice now let's go to the mapped uh, customer section so on the mapped customer list section here the admin can see a list of customers who whose order or invoice is mapped with the zero account and to view all of them the admin can uh, can navigate to this particular section and can delete the map records as well in bulk or by one by one as well so here the admin can see the zero uh, customer number of every customer and the admin can also view the customer details by tapping here on the view link under the actions uh, uh, column here so let me tap on the view button and let's see the uh, details for uh, uh, Veronica Castello there so uh, the page is just loading up so here we have the details of uh, veronica as you can see so uh, that was how we can uh, check the uh, invoices that we have mapped the uh, customers that we have mapped with the uh, zero account and how to configure uh, the module initially from the admin backend by entering the client id and client secret and authenticating our zero account within the imagine to do backend configuration settings for the zero connector now now uh, i'll be taking you to the uh, zero uh, account uh, there 
So for that I'll be logging into my Xero account first and I'll then be showing you how to get the client ID and the client secret. Apart from that I'll also be showing you how to create an organization adding, a, adding currency to the Xero account and I'll also be showing you the exported invoices on the Xero account there. So right now I'm at the login page for the Xero or, and I've entered my username and password. Let me tap login button to log into my Xero account. So here you can see that I've logged in. I'll, I'll go to my organization that is my text Xero that you just saw from the admin backend panel where we authenticated this particular account there. Now after the login, uh, the admin needs to click on the business tab here as you can see and uh, I'll tap on that and then on the invoices and this would bring up all the invoices that have been synchronized with the uh, zero account so here you can see that uh, we can see the order number and the reference ID and we can see the details of the invoices that have been basically synchronized with the uh, zero account here so uh, here basically the admin can see the list of exported orders and the invoices with their ID where uh, and the uh, different statuses as well. Apart from that the admin also can see the drafts uh, that are pending right now and uh, so uh, the admin can see the invoice by tapping here under the two on the uh, name of the customer or the guest. So for the guest I'll just tap on this and we can view the order number here the order number that we have and here we can see the data uh, and the due date and the products that he had purchased and the uh, rest of the invoice details as well and from here the admin can approve or disapprove the invoices as required so uh, now let me show you how we can basically generate the uh, client id and the client secret so for that the admin needs to navigate to the developer.zero.com uh, url and there he needs to tap on the my apps as you can see here Tapping on the My Apps brings up the section wherein you can create your apps and can find all of the created apps. So here you, as well you need to enter your username and the password for your Xero account at developer.zero.com and I've already logged into my account as you can see here. So uh, for here as well, now we can see the different uh, apps that we have created. To create a new app, you just need to tap on the new app button. Uh, for more information on this, you can also check the description below where I have uh, attached the user guide and there you will find all the details as well. So under the app name, you can set up the app name, then you can set up the OAuth as 2.0 grant type as well. You can set up the company or application URL, the uh, policy URL, OAuth uh, 2.0 redirect URL. You can uh, then lastly select I have read and agree to the, uh, agree to the uh, platform terms and conditions and tap on the create app button here to create a new app. So well, that was how you can create a new app initially. Uh, then what you need to do is uh, then the admin can have the client ID in the, the client secret. And to generate that, what we'll do is I'll just tap on this particular details of this particular app that we already created. Now uh, here you can see that uh, we have the client ID and the client secret. So after you've created your app, you'll find these uh, client uh, two options that is the client and the client secret and you can copy them and you can uh, set up uh, the backend configuration for that. So the client ID and the client secret need to be added here under the configuration se section for the client ID and the client secret. So I had already entered and I had connected with it. So no issues with that. So now let me come back. So that was how to generate the client ID and the client secret and to create your uh, more, uh, your app initially. So now how to create an organization on Xero, right? So for that I'll take you back to my Xero account dashboard first. And here what I'll do is, uh, that's very easy. And uh, I'll just show you, just go here, tap here. And uh, to add a new organization, you just need to tap here on the add new organization link, or the sub menu option. And that would bring up the details uh, for the new organization that you want to add then just enter the uh, name of the of the organization and the rest of the details here and tap on the start trial or you can also tap on the buy now button to buy your uh, fully developed uh, uh, account here and then create the what we say as the uh, new company or the organization so that's how you can create a new organization there 
from the uh, drop down option and now let's uh, see how we can add the currency to the zero account so uh, for that what we need to do is we need to navigate to the uh, business section and uh, uh, all right so for that I'll just go to uh, my uh, actual company that I've created then I'll navigate to settings all right so uh, this would bring up this particular organization settings here and here from the left uh, here we have the currency I'll just tap on that and this would bring up uh, the section where we can add our currency so I'll tap on the add currency button so uh, first we'll be selecting our currency so United States dollar and then I'll just tap on uh, the add currency button here so you can see that the United States dollar has been added here and uh, the INR per unit also is visible the units per INR is also visible similarly you can add as many as uh, currencies that you are having with your uh, online merchant to, to web store and those are for example if you are having three different currencies then you need to add those three currencies here as well for the proper functioning of this particular uh, module itself so uh, that was much uh, about the uh, zero connector for the Magento to do platform and I hope uh, it helped you out so I've just shown you how we can check the different options uh, uh, in the admin backend panel from the zero connect how we can check the mapped customers map invoice the configuration and the different options as well so if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular uh, a plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and